listeners and subscribers how's it going california carter in the flesh you know before we get started i think we do something i've got to give a shout out to my buddy wcam studios uh without him today's episode probably wouldn't be possible i was sitting in my closet here wondering what exactly am i going to record today and i couldn't think of anything and just in the nick of time he shows up and we start going back and forth and he says maybe i should put out a video talking about how i left california and include why and um some of those things so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that looking over here at my notes um putting the plan together how did i put the plan together i think one of the first things i considered when leaving the state was how i was going to get out and in that that translates for me personally was finances because i'm not somebody with a lot of money neither is my wife that was one of the big hurdles we had to get over was finances so the first thing that anybody's going to want to do uh, that i did myself i i had to save uh, if you're not already saving or putting money aside from your paychecks i recommend you do so now um at the very least uh we I recommend five grand. I know that may sound like a lot, but when you're talking about first month's rent, deposit, potentially a U-Haul and gas, uh, I, I that you're you're already talking about just three grand right there. And if depending on whether or not you've got yourself a job where you're going, you might need some cushion money. Me personally, I did not get a job before I moved heading out here. Uh, there were some other factors that were involved in that. Other people will that might not be a hurdle for them. My wife, however, she was uh, a big part in why we decided to move because her job had an opening. Now, her open, her job's opening happened to be in Arizona. We didn't have to take it. Uh, we, we did a lot of mulling it over. I recommend if you're going to leave and you're going to be moving, go to a place that makes sense for you. Um, for us, we were already looking to leave California. We know we wanted it to be a, a neighboring state um, so those were just some some of the things, some of the factors that we put into our game plan. And of course, one of the big factors is going to be income. So whether or not you have a job beforehand, that's going to play into it. Me personally, I didn't. My, my wife did. I, I could have. But again, there were other factors there. I, I will say this. It did not take long, oh, excuse me, long for me to get a part time gig out here. Um, I picked it up in less than a month of looking. It's just something part-time, some income while I look for something uh, more stable. And I, I didn't have any problems out here looking for work. That's one of the, this, and I'm, I'm in Arizona in case uh, I haven't mentioned it already. I did move out of California to Arizona and the job market out here is, is pretty good. I mean, they're hiring almost everywhere. Um, again, you're going to have to approach it by case by case basis, depending on what you're looking at. But, you know, when you're talking about putting the plan together, finances and making uh, choosing a place that makes sense for you aren't the only factors you, we had to consider. Personally, me and my wife had to consider an array of things. We were leaving our, our family, our friends, our, our people who were in our circles where we had a, a support group if we needed something. So you're you you're going to have to understand every place has its ups and its downs and you're going to have um, you're going to have to balance that uh, and take that into consideration when you're leaving. But a family isn't holding you back from leaving. That's one less thing that you have to worry about. And in fact, if you have family in a place that you're looking to go, that can really help you find uh or that can help you with your transition because you can crash on their couch until you find a gig so again you're going to be if you're going to, if you're just looking to leave the state the, the first things you're going to want to do finances save up that money look for a place that's going to make sense to you and there are a couple of factors that um play into that and that's going to be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis we also have how long did the process take for me and my wife, it didn't take too long for us to decide we were going to leave California. Once once we made the decision, and um, we'll, we'll get into why we left, once we once we made the decision, uh, it didn't take too long after that to, to actually leave. I, again, if money is one of your pitfalls, then or saving is one of your pitfalls, then how long it takes can be baked in with that. So that's one thing to consider we left for a handful of reasons for one we couldn't afford it it wasn't a realistic option for us staying there really now we we had roots there of course i was born and raised in california and so was my wife 
but uh, the the major factor is I think number one the reason why if you if you ask me is definitely the cost of living um, everything from rent a bag of chips to a milkshake uh, it's ex it's expensive especially in you know certain parts you've got LA San Francisco Sacramento those places are are, are going up exponentially I mean the homeless rates and everything it's uh, it's pretty crazy out there I, I, I won't lie to you um, the political unaccountability is absolutely insane and I mean just speaking about politics you, I could go on for days about the politics alone I mean if you've been with this channel then you know I have this I call it a pseudo series it's just a series of videos um, that all tie into a category called bye bye California where uh, which lists a couple of reasons why somebody would be leaving I mean political unaccountability is one politics is I mean for that reason alone people people want to flee uh, it's it's not exactly business friendly uh, there, there, there's a array of, of reasons why, but I think for me, the, the, the number one, of course, is not being able to afford it, those, the, the political inaccountability out there and, and, and the politics. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't live in California, maybe you've heard, you know, they're trying to ban plastic straws, they've banned plastic bags. I mean, just, just mundane things like that, the, the, the price of tobacco and, and, and stuff, just, just small things that add to your quality of life that uh that you you don't necessarily recognize uh we're gone until you go somewhere else and it's like well it's kind of like a breath of fresh air to be honest with you i'm uh near northern phoenix the scottsdale area uh it's beautiful out here it, it really is you know and every place is going to have its ups and its downs so if you're l leaving a, a state because you think the grass is greener on the other side you know you might be more short-sighted than you realize there's there's always going to be ups and downs no matter where you go so if you're running away from something eventually i think it's going to catch back up to you but uh I, I can't be this this bastion of resistance out there in california anymore because you know i of where i am now and there that sort of sentiment is really starting to permeate in the alternative truth community or the alternate news community and the truther community and, and people who are just generally upset with how uh, things are run in the state. It's everything from from politics, the legislation, the bills. Uh, I know last year a lot of people made a stink about the permanent water rationing California is proposing the 55 gallons per person per day so if you have uh, you know two people in your household 55 gallons times two that would be your limit um, I'll leave a link in the description to that but there's some very interesting laws coming out of there that could send people flying out of the state uh, for that reason alone just the politics alone not not to mention the soaring cost of living um, the tax burden the, the homelessness, the poverty, it's pretty, it, it's pretty sad in a lot of the major cities out there. And because things are getting expensive in places like San Francisco and the Bay Area, they tend to leave in other areas. They, they, they go out in other areas of California. In those areas, the, the real estate starts to go up. And that effect doesn't just stay in California. You have the people who leave uh, going to other areas and the thing is is some of the people you know not everybody who's leaving is leaving because of politics or because they they can't afford it but some of the people who are leaving they do tend to take their politics with them and change the uh, political landscape of the states they end up taking residence in and you know california gets a bad rep for the for the people for the policies the bills legislation again right uh matter of fact i can play this clip for you Something that really concerns me, and it concerns a lot of people, is please, don't leave California. Stay there. You belong there. You created. You created your hell. So stay there on your hell on earth. Don't come here and insult us, trying to tell us how to live, trying to change our lifestyles, trying to change our political point of views. I've heard rumors of like, you'll get a... a, a California neighbors are the call the cops on you for shooting your handgun or your gun out in the backyard Which is something quite normal out here to be able to shoot your gun to be honest with you We enjoy being being able to um, Our freedoms it might not be perfect like riding our motorcycles without a helmet Texting while driving It's not right, but we enjoy those freedoms the consequences of getting in trouble for our own actions 
We don't want the government coming after us. Again, we enjoy those freedoms. Something you don't know, you because you've never been free. You want a master. You, you know, that attitude obviously doesn't encompass everybody, but there are people who share that sentiment, and it's hard to blame them when what you see coming out of the state, uh, it, it's so consistent in, in, in terms of, yes, politics and the 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 homelessness and the poverty and it seems like California's problems get compounded on each other and and the governing authorities there they're not doing a good job at it at helping or alleviating any of the pain that's happening to California's the bills that they try to pass uh, right right before I left I, I voted um, I voted in the midterms and <laughs> I voted to repeal the uh, 2017 gas tax I was there I, I forget which which proposition that was, but uh, Californians voted to keep their their high gas taxes. So if you hear if you're in California, you hear anybody complaining about gas tax, you can ask them where they were during midterms. Uh, Californians also talked about instituting a tax on on water, drinking water. So I mean, these are just you know some of the reasons why individuals are, are clamoring to get out and there's also a lot of reasons why people are coming in to california so i know there's this mass out migration of people but there also is a consider and by the way most people are going to florida I, I don't know what it is but i think florida is the number one state people are going to not just from california but everywhere else as well uh, as well so it, it's it's just interesting to see the outpouring of some demographics and, and a certain class of people and the inpouring of another uh, sanctuary state policies and um, yeah sa sanctuary state policies that is a big drag on the economy and um, a reason why crime indicators have have gone up as a matter of fact Arizona was a sanctuary state and crime went up by considerable percentage points and uh, once they repealed that once they got rid of that the crime went back down considerably so you can see how these things are tied in and you see this situation in california and how it's it's really i mean I, it's hard to put it politely if, if you catch my drift and not to mention the nefarious agendas that are uh, that are brought out of california as well you you see you may have heard of something called the california effect right you have this uh companies businesses regulations and, and i'm just summarizing uh, is all these 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 companies and businesses make their products compliant to california because if it's compliant in the golden state it's more likely to be to compliant everywhere else uh, and we start to see that translate into politics that the politics um that are birthed in california it tends to be a model state so other states can adopt forms of that policy as well and then you start to see this transition this this upheaval of traditional values start to fly out the door uh, and people call it liberalism I don't like to put it into a you know a left-right paradigm um, I did you know tell people that I am a conservative and I am uh, I, I know some people are upset because they said I repeated that or something like that. Uh, I'm just, some things need to be reiterated, you know what I mean? Uh, so I, I do believe you have power uh, as a voter to a certain degree, but I don't think it's an end-all be-all. I just think that when people get so involved in the party politics and they want to do what's better for their party rather than what's better for America then that's where we start to get away from we, we really we're really missing the ball on that uh we're really dropping the ball on that and i think that's an unfortunate thing because that mindset that yeah that mindset is it's just really permeating into the the consciousness of the greater population and when we start to see these movements the activists um so on and so forth getting enraged over things we we start to see a shift okay well we'll quit with the, the ramble for now at least and uh so let's say you know all that right you know the condition california is in and you've made the decision that you want to leave how do you go about it right well rather than well uh, of course, you know, saving, if that's one of your hurdles, going to a place that makes sense for you, to you, that that's another one. Um, doing your research is going to be the next biggest thing. You're going to want to find a place where the uh, the 
rents or the mortgages haven't been trending in an upward direction too exponentially, you know, not where like it's skyrocketing and going up faster than, you know, faster than a blink of an eye in California in some places where the gentrification, you know, is like that. Go do your research. Is, is it a... Um, is it a community where they restrict the growth? Is it somewhere where they're not e expanding with a, a lot of businesses and building new neighborhoods? And are do you looking for something more quaint? Are you looking for, you know, the big city life? I mean, if you are, you California is probably the place for you. So if, if you've already made that decision, um, and maybe you've saved your money, maybe you found the place that made sense to you, and maybe you've done your research. Uh, the next steps are going to depend on what you're looking at. Are you looking at? Uh, are you looking to rent? Are you looking to buy? Uh, those are things to consider because if you're uh, and, and honestly renting, I know a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't be renting. Right. Don't throw your money away and invest in a place that you may not be ready for. If you're a first time home buyer, you better be careful before you enter in that that job market and you do your research on the place that you're going. You you, you got to get man, you're going to want your five percent save for that house. Uh, prepare for the closing costs. OK. I, and the reason why I know these things is because me and my wife were looking for um a house to moving out here because property is really cheap we decided we wanted to rent in arizona in case this wasn't going to be a permanent option for us so we get a feel for the place because just because you you do the research and you do the reading it doesn't always going to match what the reality is uh, that's just that's just the reality of it uh so you want to make sure that you're not going to be bouncing around from place to place. You, you, it, will, it might take some time to find what you're looking for. And if just getting out of the golden state is your goal, then again, look for a place that is, is going to fall in line with your values and isn't going to be poised to turn into another California. Because again, the people who do leave California, there is a percentage of folks that take their politics with them. And then the state they take up, the residents of states they take up, ends up uh, slowly, slowly changing. And that's why I believe in voting. I believe if you, you go down to your city council, if you, you vote um, locally, you know what I mean? Those are the things that directly impact you. Those are the things that you should be going to. There's this YouTube channel, great YouTube channel, Grindall61, I believe it is. I'm subscribed to him. Um, he puts out great content and he goes to his city city council meetings. You know, and it's not it's not much. What, what, Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, twice a month, if that. And you only have to attend the one where they're trying to pass whatever bill it is that's going to infringe on your rights or uh, make your life more difficult. You know, how is it is it, how is it costing you? You know, there's a, there's that mentality out there that voting's not going to do anything for you. BS. You know, maybe when you're you know, are you talking about, you know, the presidential scale? Sure. I, I think there's a lot of voter fraud that happens there and it gets a little more questionable in those realms. But in your immediate sphere of influence, your your city, your state, you should be going out there and making sure that you're battling some of this stuff that you might be trying to get away from. And if you leave, if you leave your state and you go to another one, you ha especially for politics, you had better be involved in the local politics of your of your city and state so you can be informed uh, about what's happening and not fall into the same pitfalls that you just got yourself out of. Also, don't anticipate a cakewalk, but don't anticipate it going to be this um, absolute impossible task. It's really not as difficult as you might think to uh, get out of a place that you're in, as long as you apply things appropriately, as long as you're applying the right tactics and strategics for, for things that are, again, things that you can control. So if you have moved houses before, you've moved um apartments it's really similar it's just the distance is, is different so uh, you know i've moved from apartment to house to apartment uh done uh, renting um so I, I know what that process entails if you're somebody who doesn't even know what that process entails i'm not here to tell you that that's not what this video is to tell you how to um how to get a loan and, and do that stuff I, I maybe i if i leave some stuff out here maybe i'll make another video and, and cover that if you guys are interested if you really want to get into those because again i did me and my wife were looking to buy out here so we got pre-approved for the mortgage we uh we talked to the realtor we had the buyer you know the buyer's agent and and all that stuff uh, we went through that process and then finally decided that after going through it that we weren't ready for some of the ex the un the unforeseen expenses. So we we've got that under our belt. There was a, we had to eat a little bit of a humble pie. I think we had some lofty goals there, thinking we were just going to outright buy in a state we <laughs> we never been in before. Really, I've only been to Arizona twice, and and not even in my adult life. So 
renting was a good option for us because we you get a feel for it. You know what I mean? That's the best way to do it. No matter how much you research, um, no matter how much you save, ultimately when you get there, that is going to be the biggest problem um, is to figure out if you're going to stay or not. Again, if you've moved from apartment to apartment and house, it's it's the same thing. You got to get your U-Haul. The U-Haul is going to be a little bit more because of the distance. Um, you're going to have to put your gas in there. You're going to make sure you bring all your stuff with you. Uh, it's not as complicated as you might think it is. You just got to get you just got to get the, the ball rolling. Um, people tend to fear things that they don't understand. And if they they just look at this as one big mess, it's kind of like going to change your oil on a car. Some people like change your oil on a car. I could never do that. But if you actually change your oil like on a freaking Prius or something like that, you're like, wow, it's really only a couple of screws and pouring something in. That, that, that is what this process is like. So if, if it's a mental thing for you where you're having difficulty in your head, you're putting uh, mental blocks in, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's not as difficult as you might be making it out to seem unless you have personal things going on in your life. Again, you don't want to leave family, your finances. Uh, you're Again, I, you're going to have to assess things on a case-by-case basis. But speaking of fear, one of the things uh, WCM Studio said I should inc- include is whether or not um, I was afraid to make the transition. And I think that is actually a great thing to include because some people could be apprehensive about it because they don't know the intricacies of what it takes to to move to another state. They don't know what it's like or what it's going to be like there. And some of the things you're not going to be able to predict at all. So was I scared? I I was anxious. Um, I was excited more than anything uh at the, at the opportunity but there was a bit of angst you know i did think well um am i going to find proper employment which no problem at all the the job market out here i mean i talk to my coworkers all the time they have friends who are being hired uh they're they're hiring out here so that's not a problem at least here in arizona other states that's going to be a different story so again um case by case uh ah oh, that's right fear was i scared yeah i know this thing is getting pretty long but uh there are some people out there that i know wouldn't mind uh listening to this i'm not going to make it too much longer here if this gets some positive feedback i'll probably have to make a part two uh but was i scared yeah the long long story short i was a little bit anxious i was thinking about the what ifs uh and and that was pretty much it was was the what ifs for me it was very it was very mental i kind of made it more of a deal than i thought it out to be i, I didn't mind leaving my my family and friends behind you know i can I have a phone i can call them i can text them i needed to focus on what was smart for me and my wife i needed to think about my my family and looking at the optics uh, things weren't weren't going to play out in our favor and this is just it, this is what worked out for us. Um, it's much cheaper out here. If you want to know specifics, you we got a two bedroom, two bath apartment for under a thousand dollars. We were looking for something like that out in California. We were looking for at least uh, fifteen, sixteen hundred, uh, and and not in the Bay Area, outside of the Bay Area, fifteen, sixteen hundred for something not even not even in good areas. You know what I mean? So we were able to find, and that's so that's just kind of paint a picture. And again, this is just the state of Arizona it's going to be different any other state you're looking at you just want to make sure that that place that you're going to isn't trending in the same direction as the place you're coming from and I think with that I'm going to end it I will make a part two if I missed anything I'm sorry if I'm reiterating too much Um, California Carter signing off